Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody, stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Stay, What's the procedure? stay calm. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody, just calm down. Help! Here. Oh, take my hand. Ah! Come on! <laughs> You're gonna fall unless you take my hand. No, give me your other hand. Oh, my other hand isn't strong enough. You take my little hand. No! Get it away from me! Take it! Take my hand! No. <laughs> a classic a classic but a good one welcome everyone welcome welcome to the show i hope you feel uh how do you feel tonight on this auspicious night the night of the uh infamous second is that the final debate of the uh what is it trump and uh, trump and biden uh i did watch that by the way if anyone is is interested did you watch that as well uh, I thought it was a a bit of a slaughter, actually. I thought uh, Trump uh, did really well there. But that's just my opinion. Um, we're here to talk about other things today, and we're here, we're joined by... Hey, Hello, Joe? there he is. I don't know where's Joe. He, uh, you know, he sent me a message earlier saying he was going to be possibly wrangling the kids into bed. Uh, but, um, you know, we'll see, we'll see. He did say he was going to turn up. He was the one who... Uh, suggested this topic to talk about. Yeah, this is his show. I mean, now I what do we do? Anyway. Oh, it's yeah. all right. We can say hello to the chat. And, Hi, chat. Know, do a little chitty chat. We've got VIP here. He says, yo, how are you going? Uh, we've got Skip in the house. He says, hail VIP. Mo Biggs is here too. Hail the chat. He says, the comics are greater than the science. Yeah, possibly. Possibly. Especially lately. Especially lately, science has been politicized, as we've been seeing these these past few years. Ex Vicious says, hail all. And we have the man himself, Felix Haas. He says, how the chat, how the panel, how Bancroft, Mo, VIP, Skip, and Ex Vicious. How everybody, how everybody, including Hockey. He says, g'day all. Hey, hockey. That's a neat little uh, avatar for himself he's got there. Mitch. Mitch is uh, in the chat, and Mitch was happy. Uh, let me pull that up. Mitch was happy earlier that uh, mm -hmm. I um, I followed Mitch. I found Mitch on Twitter. I saw he'd retweeted uh, something, and um, I uh, I followed him back, and he was happy to see that happen. And I was happy about something else as well. Let me just share it. Here it is here. Do you notice? Do you notice something different there, Blue? Um, Arter and Dun, Raider of the Lucent. Dun, Grab a copy now. On, oh, okay. Dun, yeah. it, it'd be easy to notice if it weren't covered up with Mitch. So. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> we love That's Mitch. That's what I get for not looking at the uh, the live stream. That's what I get. That's what I get. Oh, Blue, Joe. Hello, Joe. Yes. What do you know? What is that? My goodness flamboyant that's a that's your pimp hat yes indeed it's a pimp smack boom i like it i like that's it. for a that's for adobe tonight, uh, oh I, yes of I'm, course. I'm pimp slapping yeah, right. adobe for their um uh so-called comic creation application mm, mm. yeah when i saw, i first saw that was uh clint sharing it and they said you know when i was in uh, design school they were saying you designers better you know get famous quick because uh in in a couple of years there's just going to be uh, they're going to release programs that are going to do all this for you and you guys will be out of business and i'm still waiting 20 years later uh that you know all these automated stuff it comes out exactly as we're going to see with this uh stupid uh comics blast thing and i noticed that uh blue um mm -hmm. very friendly pointed out that uh yeah uh, I did I, drop down. I figured out why. It's the exchange rate change. Oh. <laughs> so it takes more Americans because there's more of us to be equal in value to the Australian followers. So that damn that damn exchange rate. Yeah, it always gets me. Why does it get me? But we had a we had a resurgence since then. Look, nice up to two thousand and one. Thank you everyone for following me on Twitter. If you're not following me uh, here uh, in the chat. Uh, come on board let's uh let's have some fun my keep i keep a very clean twitter there is no arguments or yelling or um 
porn or whatever other nastiness that you might find on Twitter. But uh, let me just sh stop sharing that and get back to saying hello to the wonderful people in the chat. We've got Edwin is here. He says, how peeps? We've got uh, Leroy is here. He's saying, damn it, why am I watching this? Because you, you know you love it, Leroy. You can't help yourself. You're addicted. Because you love the Bancroft. It's probably because Shane or someone else isn't streaming. I don't know. But uh, yes, I'll take it. Black Rose Comics says, says, how are y'all? We've got Finatra in the house. Fantastic. I borrow ideas. He says, evening, everyone. Uh, and, and me. Uh, Smiling Bandito. Give us the old hail and well met. Uh, do, do, the, the chat just jumped down, so I lost my place. Let me go back up. Black Rose says, yes, Trump won the debate. I do agree. I think uh, he was... Um, Trying tonight to win over those people. You know, he's already won over all those people who love Trump being Trump. Tonight, he was trying to be a little bit less Trump mm -hmm. and uh, to win over those undecided voters. It's going to be think interesting he, he to followed, see. Just from the outside, because I didn't watch it because I hate those things. I, he mm -hmm. must have followed some of the advice that um, uh, the, the little uh, dark haired guy um, Shapiro was giving about, you know, Tone it down. The little dark hair <laughs> guy. That's his cap. <laughs> he has dark hair. Yeah, he does. He does. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I, I agree. I, that's. I think that's the first debate I've ever watched. Actually, I remember watching the highlights back when. Remember when he was in that 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 famous thing where he was talking to Hillary and he was like, um, she said, you know, he'll be, you'll be in jail. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that sort of stuff. But uh, yeah, I agree. That I find them kind of cringy. But I did watch t tonight for some reason. Maybe just nothing else is going on. Shane Burgess says, uh, "G'day, folks." Steve says he loved it. Mitch says Trump destroyed him, and then he says Adobe. Lol. Yes, exactly. At the desk, scrolling, scrolling. Uh, Bandito says, always good to see everyone in the sexiest chat in Comicsgate. Absolutely, it is. Great to see you oh, all here, my friends. People have stolen our phrase, sexiest chat in Comicsgate, which Who? Bandito coined, and yeah. other other chats are now, or sorry, other shows are now using it. Like, I, no. I saw this last week. Yes. No, 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 Na no. Name the offenders. Trademark registered. I am, I am trying to remember if it was a few minutes of Shane that I caught, or... Um, it, or maybe it was someone else. So no, this will remember. not stand. This is a scandal. It may uh, have been anyone temporary. Anyone out there who hears that, let me know about it. S send me a clip, and we will name and shame them. <laughs> this aggression will not stand, man. Shane wants to know if this will be like the thirty k mark. Well, yeah, with Twitter, you know, followers come and go. What is this? What is this symbol that Black Rose keeps posting? This lewd-looking symbol. A peach and an eggplant. No, that's going to be... I can't be... interpret that. Shane, you're saying, are you tempting some oh, yeah. of us to unfollow? Yeah, I mean, that is the... You guys wouldn't do that to me, would you? You you guys are my friends. Who else is here? Oh, Run With Caesars is here. He says, Hal, Michael, Blue, Joe, and the CG chat. Yes, Crocodile Tears. The shipping for Australia sucks, does it? Hmm. It does, actually. Does it, it sucks, especially at the moment? Everything's slow, and um, but uh, sending out to Australia from the states is is very brutal. Um, uh, worst, uh, Steve says he won when he said laptop. Yeah, that's uh, brewing up to be a massive scandal, I think. At that desk, scrolling down, what have we got here? Jim Cox says, What's happening, friends? Well, we have just started the show. Thank you so much for joining us, Jim. I took off Jim's uh, wrench by request. He asked to be unwrenched. He wants to hang with the unwrenched crew, and that's perfectly fine. Um, you're you know, among you're among good company, Jim. Yep, each to their own. Each to their own. Hal panel. Hal chat. Hal wrenches. Uh, okay, I think we're pretty much caught up there. Oh, Sim just turned up. Hey, Sim, how you going, buddy? Great to see you here. I did something today uh, that I wasn't expecting to do. I got an email from a, a fantastic fan. He sent me an email. First, he sent me... I'm going to show you. First, he sent me... There's a thing that says, ask a question up in the top of your um, your Indiegogo campaign. It's right mm -hmm. under the creator's name. Mm -hmm. I don't know where that goes. I'm sorry if anyone has hit that. Uh, I don't know where that goes. I've never received anything, but I've had some people mention that they uh, you know that they say they've tried to contact me through that and I'm like I I never saw anything so don't hit that 
Either leave a comment on the page or send me an email at michaelbancroft1980 at gmail. Um, uh, Amit wants to know if I'm tipsy. Hmm. Am I tipsy? Not yet. Not yet. But you know what? You know what, Joe? What? I could be. I could be tipsy. If only there was something that could get me there. What could that be? Could be mm. this. You can get it rolling. You can get it bowling. You can get it riding a line. A hard-earned thirst needs a big cold beer. And the best cold beer is Vic. Vic Bitter. Yes, yes, absolutely. And uh, today, I'm flying the flag. Cheers, Joe. Cheers, Cheers. to anyone Cheers. tonight who's going to join us for a drink. It's Friday afternoon for me, so I'm uh, only mm -hmm. too happy to... Mm. Imbibe. Uh, so, yes, I'm now on my way, Amit. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, Jim points out that Felix is doing a good job with the links. Felix is the link master. Uh, un undisputed. Undisputed. You know what? I was um, talking on Skip Edwards. This is the show of just going off on tangents. I was talking to Skip Edwards yesterday. Uh, I was in his chat. And um, oh, was I in his chat? Anyway. And I mentioned, um, you know what would be cool to do at the end of the year? What is it now? It's coming up on November. To do an awards for the chat. You know, mm -hmm. best linker. Best chatter you know, uh, best troll, um, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then we can do a show where we hand out awards to all the lovely people in the chat who turn up every day, you know, give something back. There's Claude Crackhead himself. He says, how the fucking chat. Um, I think that would be a really cool idea for a show. Really fun. Yeah. Uh, Hammett says Aussie beer. Yeah, absolutely. VB all the way. Hockey is recommending you show the Twelfth Man VB ad. Twelfth Man VB ad. I'll look that up. Thank you. Thank you, Hockey. I've got the uh, Booney one. Um, as long as it's not too long. Uh, Fenrir Fire says, Dude, dude, I, period, so worsted, life's grief. <laughs> <laughs> I want to believe that you attempted to spell a sentence there, Fenrir. Rock uh, on, Fenrir. I think you're doing something right. Uh, Mo says, awards. I'm happy just to be nominated and sweep those bad boys. It would be hard to imagine an award show without Mo Biggs, uh, you know, taking out a, a number of them. It would be hard to imagine. Uh, Amit says, it's 11 a.m. for me, but I'll join you. Great, Amit. Thank you so much <laughs> for hanging the spirit. out with Amit. Uh, Chris is here. Fantastic. He says, uh, what's crack a -lackin? Well, it, I am just, uh, I mean, I'm getting lost on tangents. So I was talking about on the campaign page, I got a message uh, from a fan, a previous backer. And he said, I remember you used to have original art pages on your page. What happened to them? And I said, well, I thought I wanted to keep uh, a level of exclusivity to the campaign period. And, um, and as well, I wanted to kind of know how many, how much extra drawing I'd be needing to do while I'm going through fulfillment and everything. Um, but then I realized, you know, uh, he said he was actually interested in the thing. And I thought, well, first I thought, oh, there's some money. That's good. But, um, as on top of that, I thought, you know, I did say five out of 10 available and I did take that tier down. So I, uh, I didn't put back up any of the head sketches or anything like that because I'm, I'm done with them. I've got a bunch of them to draw and uh that's that but uh he requested it someone came out and requested it so i obliged and if i can find the page uh i did put them back up and he did purchase one so thank you so much you know who you are uh that was awesome um for backing a page of art and i thought i'm just going to leave them up i think and if we i get rid of the last four you know good for me good for you uh and um yeah so I've, I've put them back up on the page and yeah we're coming up close to 610 backers which is which is pretty insane pretty insane so oh. i just thought i'd drop that lucent news speaking of on the you. lucent mm -hmm. michael do you have enough grams 
us to spare that the lucent will be delivered in one of those very thin plastic sleeves. The actual, the actual book. Yeah, comic sleeve. Yeah. Uh, the book will be in a Silver Age sleeve. Nice. Um, do I have... I don't have it in here. I, actually, I'll show that to you once I get some more things together. Yeah. But yeah, the book will, will come in a Silver Age sleeve. It's going to come in that, and then right next to it is going to mm-hmm. be the, um, uh, the the 10-page preview. So the book, the thick 80-page book, is going to act as the backing board for the uh, comic for that mm-hmm. little 10 page thing. Uh, I could put a, a board in there, but uh, I am getting pretty close to the weight limits. And then that is going to go into the plastic bag. Did I say black? Plastic bag. And then um, there's going to be another plastic bag. We've got plastic bags all over the place. You're going to be bagged up. Don't you worry about that. It's going to go in with the, uh, with the, with the two uh, little prints. And that's an A4 size bag. So that's going to sit inside that double plastic. You know, this, I mean, we're not skimping here. This is like, you know, when you get double plastic down at the supermarket mm-hmm. or the grocery store, whatever you guys call it over there. Uh, and um, and in that one as well, if you bought a head sketch, that's going to be in there. If you got, uh, and and I said, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm no longer putting the, the folded posters in there now. They're going to go out flat. So they're a whole nother system. A um, whole nother. A whole nother. Did I say that? Yes. Whatever. I love that phrase. Uh, Black lives it, matter. Let's just too. move on. <laughs> eh. Language, language, language. Uh, oh. Jabba, Bob, and Dino. Who is the best troll in CG? Well, I mean, I'm just talking. The awards would be for my channel, my channel only. Uh, I because I can't. Obviously, there's some legends out there <laughs> in, in in the uh, various CG chats, but I'm talking about the guys here who um. Who come out uh, day after day? Plastic bags are outlawed in my town. Well, make sure you don't tell anyone, Jim. Hopefully, they don't we'll stop it at the border. Ship him three or four extras. Yeah, hey, exactly, exactly. He can't get them. Uh, Jason Black is in the house, my friend. Jason, thank you so much. He says best nogji I've had all week. What is a nogji? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Oh, Adega Outlaws here as well. News? If I'm He's saying hi to Rick Saylor. Unless I'm mistaken, that's a New Zealand term for bunion. Okay, okay. Uh, Chris Oak is already nominating Mo. I mean, Mo is going to... We have a thing here called... <laughs> it's our version of the Emmys. It's called the Logies. It sounds like something <laughs> you spit out of your mouth. I know, yeah. but that's what it's called. <laughs> and everyone who wins an award, say best drama actor, best screenwriter, they get a silver Logie. But there's one person every year that wins the gold Logie. And that's just the best overall entertainer for that year. Um, it's like every award become highly politicized lately. Uh, and um, uh, But I think Mo would kind of, I mean, have to be number one runner for the, for the gold Logie. Uh, but uh, oh, maybe the gold wrenchy. That's what oh, I was my gonna goodness. say. Black yeah. Rose, yes. Black Rose the called wrenchies. it the wrenchies. <laughs> oh, this is ha- okay. This is happening. This is done. We're gonna hold the wrenchies at the end of the year. You know when it's like when we're getting up towards Christmas, everyone will be in a really good mood. Everyone's mm-hmm. looking just to have fun and and uh, uh, yes, yes. Antoine, another one who might um um Mike, uh, tell me if you want to take this conversation offline uh i don't know what it's like for you to try and get uh trophies shipped out of oz but i've got a trophy shop close to my house and i could with very little persuading get some trophies made up and i could ship those for you to any u.s award winners oh my goodness this is getting out of control can you imagine (laughs) Can you imagine? And all we need to do is raise a little bit of super chat money. We could, you know, yeah. pay for this whole thing. Yeah, no problem. Oh my goodness, this is this is this is a thing, a little idea that was just like you know, <laughs> Shane says the Mo Awards. <laughs> if we if we only raise a little that. money, at a minimum, we can you know those little black plaques that go in the front with the gold etching in them. Mm-hmm. Just if we if we only get a few dollars, we just make a bunch of those with a little wrench on them in their name, and, you know the, the the Lucent channel, and and that's that's the minimum we can send out if we can't do a whole trophy. 
So yes. we have we have stretch oh goals. But your trophy gets taller. We can yeah. we can do this. Oh my goodness, uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to that. So everyone, start thinking of categories. Uh, look, <laughs> Amit is already saying you should have one for the laziest wrench. Uh, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, Mark is already <laughs> Mitch is already putting in two dollars. That would be glorious. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mitch. Oh, Mitch yes. is the man. Trend set us in the chat. Yes. Best grifter, best troll, best guest. <laughs> I mean, well, I, I was thinking it would be, you know, for the chat. It's it's the it would be an awards for the chat. Yeah, uh, Black Black Rose Comics is on fire tonight. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, let me stop uh, sharing this and start sharing something else. The people the people have arrived. We've got thirty people here. They have arrived. They've come to see something. They've come to learn. How do you make comics? How do we make comics? Not only do we want to make comic books, we want to make pro comic books. We want to make pro comic books, but we want to make them fast. We don't want to have to have effort or skill or talent. Nah. Uh, anything no. like that. We it's just want to make comics fast. Yeah, we don't yeah, want to easy. turn off our autoplay and prevent accidents or anything like that. No. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, Sorry, Mike. Michael, two dollars. Thank you so much. Most intimidating bulge. I am going to go through all of these, uh, and um, yeah, we're going to make a list of potential categories. Uh, best grifter has to go to Grifter Moon. I mean, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a Frager raid going on. Frager finished already. Oh, well, welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome Pedro Ang. Uh, uh, CG award have an awards called the commies. <laughs> Mel suggests that she should be the one to get the laziest ranch. Yeah, I don't think she's ever posted a link ever. But is uh, it fair for her to to sweep two categories? Prettiest ranch and laziest ranch? I think I think she's going to I think it's more fair. Two. I think, you know, CG is meritocracy. Mm. Uh, we're going to have a legit vote um, yeah, I can't argue wins, with that. Wins uh, democracy, you know. It's a popularity yeah. contest, straight up. No, oh, can't can't argue with that. Nor would I want to. Mm -hmm. uh, Antoine says, "I think I may have you beat. I barely remember it's there." <laughs> uh, VIP saying AAT exactly. Uh, all right, all right. So, is everyone is everyone in the chat aware of this thing, comics, comic blast? Is everyone aware that? I mean, this is the thing that we didn't even know we needed. We were sitting here making comics as we always had and reading them, and we didn't even know that we were we were uh, we were in such desperate need of a streamlined, uh, professional comic making piece of software but we're going to find out uh we're going to have to thank adobe for their amazing services uh, that they've been giving us so let's let's i mean let's just jump right in we're going to have to uh break this up so we don't get the copyright strike but uh here we go mm -hmm. let's start it off all right we got zebras good start comic blast Okay, all right, I already have a comment right there. Yep. Just, all right, what? so we're not going to get copyright struck. That music is pretty much what it was, you know how you can strip something down to the point where it has no soul or no heart? That music represents everything we're about to look at. Indeed, indeed. Uh, Johnny Rando asks a very, you know, a question that we've all asked. Who even needs artists for sequential art? Psh, you know, sequential artists... Psh, I mean, screw them. Uh, Todd's Truth says, Adobe sucks. Zebras, yeah. Exactly, exactly. What the hell? Let's continue. Hi, I'm Garima, and I love reading comics. <laughs> Is that true? I, I, don't, I don't think you do, based on what you're about to say. <laughs> have, have you guys heard... ever been into a comic book shop and seen Gamera in there? Or someone like Gamera just going through the back issues and like jumping up saying, yes, I've been no. looking for this. No, no. I have heard her name, by the way, in this video twice, three times now. I have heard Fatima. I have heard Gad Gaddis Gadara. I have never seen, I didn't notice it was written on the screen because I'm usually multitasking. <laughs> 
but yeah, I, I have trouble understanding her. It's pretty bad. Well, we're not gonna we're not gonna accent shame her. But oh no, no, is this Gamera. is a me thing. I no, have trouble I said with Gamera, some it is Garima. Garima. Garima? Yeah. Um, no, no, and, no, this uh, is this is a me thing. I have trouble with accents. So, uh, uh, Pedro asks, "Is that a kaiju name?" <laughs> Laugh. Uh, no, she does seem to be a real person. Um, although I am highly dubious that she loves comics as enthusiastically as she she suggests. Gamera. Uh, yeah. Lord Crackhead says she's confusing comics with Twitter. Indeed. And can I let you in on a little secret? Please do. I have recently started designing one. I've, I'm designing a comic too. I'm designing. I'm designing a couple of comics. You're de- I hear you're designing some comics as, as well, Joe. Yeah, How are you designing I, comics going? I am, I am designing comics. Uh, as a matter of fact, I had a meeting with my artist this morning, mm-hmm. and um, we were just captivated by all of the wonderful things that Adobe Comic Blast can do for us. And so I can't wait to see what else she has to say. Well, apparently Steve says we should give her some credit. She can make a pro comic in 20 minutes, and uh, it's as good as a modern modern Marvel book. Oh, <laughs> Shots fired. Here, here. Here, here. Uh, Lord Crackhead, is a, he's a little more skeptical. Let's continue. But I think you will agree that designing comic like a pro is no easy task. I do I agree. I do script, agree. Plan the layout, draw the art, create... Sp- now... I don't know if any of you in the chat have ever tried to make a comic before, but uh, this is how I do it. I mean, I have just a a, mm-hmm. a a palette with randomly arranged bits and pieces all over the place, and it's a major frustration. It really is from when I have to just drag them around, yeah, and Ooh. put them together like a puzzle. It's, um, it's amazing you would have art that fits some of the frames there for the panels. That Just, that as well as yeah, it's a hard yeah. thing to to get right. Staying in the lines, unless you want to break the lines. I mean, what what's an artist to do? Wait, I well, have an idea. To find out. Adobe next Adobe could let us do the art inside the panel instead of having to move it in. <laughs> Innovation. Innovation. Adega Outlaw sends four ninety nine. Thank you so much, Adega Outlaw. Bribe money to the judges for a Rick Sailor win at the Wrenchies. There you go, Rick. Yes. Uh, in case anyone is wondering, I do take bribes. Uh, bribe, bribe often. Bribe twice. Bribe often. That's what I say. Uh, uh, maybe this tool could be used for web comics. You know, ironically, there are some interesting things at the end of this video that uh, web comics could implement, but. Um, uh, the stuff at the start here is is particularly particularly funny. Uh, Pedro says comics a chimp could assemble. <laughs> uh, that, that, that reminds me of comic patterned wallpaper. Uh, and hockey says, "Wait, you create things? I just think comics and hope uh, they are created." Yeah, that's what I do. I mean, every night I just kind of sit around and. And, uh, you know, I drink beer and I watch TV and I just hope and pray that when I get up in the morning, a new page of the Lucent will be done for me. I I assume that's how everyone else does it. If it's it's not, do you just drink more beer? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, this is why I'm drinking in the middle of the day. It's out of anxiety and depression. Mm. All right, here we go. Hey, hang on. Hmm? This guy here. Can I zoom? I can't zoom in. Can you see my mouse? Yeah. Does that not look a little bit like Rob Arnold with his Rob Hawk there at the top? Yeah. Yeah, it sure does. I wonder if he was a model for this uh, particular project. I think he's probably been involved in this. I mean, Rob is a problem solver. Rob goes around. I don't know if you guys know this on Twitter. Uh, Rob goes around uh, backstage helping people Mm. out with their projects. He's a very helpful dude. Uh, Nice. It would make total sense to me if um if rob is out there working with adobe just kind well, of helping them yeah, out on their, this project this this project does seem to have the aesthetics and the professionalism that he would be attracted to so mm-hmm. I, I, you know I, I i'm really not surprised if he is one of the key team members in bringing adobe comic blast to the masses 
Well, the, there are notes in that face of of Dan Frega, so that doesn't make a lot of sense. You know, Rob Hawk with the notes of little notes of Frega, but then there's Worm Tongue. What's Worm? Where'd that come from? <laughs> he and, is too. And below Ooh, in the in the like cape, Corey. is that like a young Stephen King? Uh, no, it looks like a, a Harry Potter. If Harry Potter was a wizard superhero. Uh, if an adult didn't know when to stop dressing up as Harry Potter, that's what that would be. Yes, yes. And yeah, got really serious with it. Bandito, hail and well met. Hail, hail and well met. I hear we're talking about uh, how even I could make a comic book. Yeah. Even you could. <laughs> I mean, everyone could. Are you aware how difficult it is to make pro comic books? Uh, to, sorry, well, to design. Design, comic books? thank you. Let's use the professional the, term, yeah, please. Professional the, we get terms. into the nomenclature right here. Mm hmm. Uh, well, I guess I'm about to find out. Um, because if I didn't know before, I'm sure that this will uh, definitely explain it. All right. <laughs> Speech bubble. Compose the lettering and put them together. <laughs> panel by panel, one by one, I mean, page by page every day, by page. Pro comic there has book to be people, a better way. There has to be a better way. Every day. There yeah. has to be a better way. I mean, you you would think there has to be. They've been doing this for eighty years. What's their problem? What, yeah. Why is and it why taking them they, this long? Why weren't they smart enough to figure this out before? Right. We've been we've been in a world of dummies, and only now um, are are able to uh, move forward uh, in our global culture because of this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Steve Werther says he likes how she talks. I like how she talks too, like legitimately. I could listen to this accent all day. I find it uh, very interesting to listen to. I, I'd like to note that her style of eyewear is sometimes by uh, people who have no idea what they're talking about, referred to mm -hmm. as problem glasses. But the way that she's wearing them, they're clearly problem solver glasses. And I applaud her for that. Yeah, mm -hmm. agreed. agreed. You're doing this. Presenting Comic Blast, a fun Ooh. and easy way to create pro-comic books. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. Scripts for comics typically follow Adobe a structure. And Comic yeah. Blast powerful AI algorithms have been trained to analyze such scripts and identify components like panel, SFX text, dialogue, and speech bubbles. All I need to do what? Look is at the magic. import the script there's a magic and button. Press this Check magic this out. Button. Bang! Ooh, wow. Was that an easy button? It was a magic button. Ooh, even better. I mean, that's what she called it. A magic button. My and then goodness. look at what you get. Mm. Look at the results. It's who uh, needs who needs Eric Weathers? Eric that's Weathers right. is I out mean, of a he job. Is, he's he's barely sleeping, I heard. This came out a couple of days ago. Um, and yeah, he's he's been in some back rooms in the chats. Uh He's, he's, he's looking at selling up. He's, he's trying to sell his car. He, you know, he, he's in, he's really concerned and he has a right to be, I mean. And look at those sound effects. I mean, that definitely, like that's, you almost don't need artwork around that. This, this there, reminds there, me of, sorry, Bandito, go ahead. <laughs> no, no, that's all good, man. What does it remind you of? Something one, something one of these, these late night, you know, as seen on TV products, it's a spice, you know, a spice rack for your spices. And they, you know, there has to be a better way. And to, to show the problem before the solution, they, they show some lady opening her cupboard door and like all these spices come out from this random <laughs> mountain pot. <Yes. laughs> I can't find does this, it on YouTube. Does this happen to you? <laughs> yeah. Are there you has, tired of your does. cupboard there being completely be a better unorganized? Way. There have to be a better way. Um, uh, I like uh, Mo's comment here. Uh, putting in the lettering before the art is the ultimate convenience. I mean, We're on the same wavelength. Exactly. Mo exactly. Biggs and I. Yeah. And you know, even later, it shows you get even the the, the speech bubbles with the you know with the lines to show who's talking. The, yeah. The tail. Sorry. Uh, they come in before the art is even in there. So, I mean, yeah. this is this is a technological breakthrough, really. In, in manga, also called manga, uh, they, do, they do the lettering before most of the art. There is some reference oh, to so... how the figures are supposed to be arranged, but that's it. It's like maybe stick figures, maybe just described. But they actually describe it so the lettering goes around. And then they letter first so they don't waste time actually drawing. But it's not like this. This is just randomly thrown on. 
No blue. I mean, th- th- no, no, no. This is this is um, this is all composed by a by a scientific algorithm, a comic book algorithm, maybe the first of its kind. I mean, this thing could this thing could go sentient at any moment, perhaps. Uh, Steve Worser points out that panel four is the best. It seems to encapsulate the entire page. It does. Mm. Um, We've got got a squared circle. Yeah. And everything is quite evenly spaced. Variety. Yeah. I like, I like, particularly like how there's, there's, um, there's H A H A, and then we need two H's here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I also like, you don't want to be predictable. You've got to always throw a little, you know, twist in there for, Mm -hmm. uh, make it more dynamic. I also like how the uh, third box in the first panel is uh, lined up perfectly with the border. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah. They, they know how to space their margins. Is yeah, not the, having any. In the old days, we used to call that a tangent, but yeah, that, yes. that was when we were doing it wrong. We were doing it the hard mm-hmm. way. You're working yeah, too yeah. hard if you're caring about tangents. I mean, yeah, move on. Next page. You know, I mean, I mean, they even did it again down in panel. Was that five where it says Gur, and then below that you've got an oval uh, switching things up, you know, not a circle, not a rectangle, little of both, very creative. And they've got another tangent there. So, you know, if they're doing it twice, it must be nice. <laughs> they should put that uh, as a cover. There has to be a way to incorporate that. If they're doing it twice, it must be nice. You know how Stan Lee used to have his little sayings across the oh, country? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, his were good. Uh, my computer just told me that I unplugged my mic somehow. Oh. To be more mindful. All right, here Why we go. Why you got to be continue. like that? Yeah. I've got cables all over the place. You know me sitting here on my little lunch tray. <laughs> 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 all right, let's continue on. And voila. Voila. Mm. Hang on, hang on. When I look at this page, this is what I do. Oh my goodness. This is what I do. I see this page. This is my reaction. Ooh. Oh. Wow. It's we were, beautiful. You thought you thought tangents, mate. <laughs> tangents were not a thing of the past. I mean, we're yeah. bringing tangents back in a big way. Oh, so man. Soon yeah. on, the last, on the last page. I didn't realize we were taking I'm, it to this level. <laughs> I'm just thinking, you know, as an artist, purely as an artist, I get this page uh, and I'm thinking, how? How am I going to fit someone's face in right down in that top panel? Like right down there at the bottom. You don't need to panel. worry about it. Tangents is the answer. Uh, and yeah, I'm just like, I can't <laughs> wait for the algorithm to, to figure that out for me. Uh, it's it's going to be brilliant. It's going to be brilliant. Even Mel, who's she's not really a comic book person. I mean, she likes the Lucent. She's read it. Mm. Well, she, so, mm-hmm. you know, even she's saying, "Wow, you know, looks so good." Well, she she knows quality, and because she has yours to compare it to, mm. uh, she obviously understands how this is a step up. Well, it's one thing when uh, an Australian guy does the old French "voila, kiss the air," but when it's backed up by a French woman, who could argue mm-hmm. with that? Oh exactly. yeah, it comes with a seal of approval. Uh, all the art all lined with it's brilliant yeah i mean we're getting we're getting uh, just a pretty much a uh full full sweep of uh approval from the chat here uh, edwin edwin i know edwin's working on a book he's saying my mind is blown uh, so uh, i mean he could he might just be deleting all his files right now on his computer yeah uh, mr gone, mr bing cycle bin yeah absolutely and mr bancroft i'd also like to note that jim cox may have just uh pulled into the lead for most considerate chatter mm. his comment um yeah if you don't there you go he's saying melanie b uh this software would be a great christmas present christmas gift for michael what a thoughtful guy i mean i don't know what i did to deserve uh a chat like this but he's showing kindness you. combined with foresight that's that's incredible thank you jim you're a humanitarian sir can you imagine she should film that to get my reaction uh, on Christmas morning when I open up the little thing that says you've got a subscription to Comics Blast and get my reaction. That would be uh, <laughs> something to see, I think. I think Cecil has been a good role model for uh, Jim there because we've got diversity, inclusiveness, con- uh, compassion, and kindness. Mm. All right. What a dick. Excellent. Yeah. 
All right, let's continue. Comes to life in a matter of seconds. Oh, matter of seconds. Creating comic books just became hundred times faster. Uh, that's what we all need. I mean, I can change the page. Hey, I'll be the first to say, <clears throat> Comicsgate has had our issues and continues to have our issues with uh, books coming in late. Uh, this could be the. Tool we could get these comics need. out before the end of the campaign. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I mean, look at look. Oh, look at this! I didn't see this um burst, this star burst. Amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, that's like, crosses. Got a big why in there? Like, sounds like a baby crying. Yeah. I mean, when and I think baby crying, I think explosive, pointy, sharp uh, star burst. Not only goes... breaks its own panel borders, but breaks right into the next panel over. It can't yeah. be stopped. Or right. under the panel borders. I don't know quite what it's doing. It it, it clips through on one, and then it. It absorbs no the other. No rules. It doesn't yeah. follow our old rules. I know. Is it's, my mind uh, blown test. because of breaking the panel borders or because my mind was pretty lightweight in the first place? Mm. I, don't, I don't know, Blue. It, it, but you're going you're gonna to be... You think this is mind-blowing. Mm -hmm. uh, Jim Cox says it's a game-changer. Uh, you think this is mind-blowing. You just wait until you see how flexible uh, this program is. We we're about to find out. Page layouts instantaneously. Look at this. While Bang. retaining all the components on the page, you can just swap. I can out. even adjust the wow. space between two panels. That's like sexy flex. Or create new panels on the yeah. fly. I can even merge. Two I mean, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I've been designing my panels, and I'm like, <sighs> if only there was a way, a solution, a quick solution, something that mm -hmm. I could do in seconds. <clears throat> you know, I've filled up a good third of my panel. Mm -hmm. with a massive starburst and you know there's no other solution left to me anymore like it's there it's in what can i do well i think well i need another tiny little panel um and i want to make sure that when i make this panel that the gap on the top of that you know the, the gutter is mm -hmm. bigger than the ones around it because you know consistency it becomes too boring you, mm -hmm. you know, you want to mix things up. So, yeah. I mean, this you is, wanna, I'm, I'm freaking out here. Definitely. If it's not broke, that's no reason not to fix it. Mm -hmm. Couldn't have said it better myself. I mean, We're breaking all the rules would... <laughs> and making whole new omelets, baby. That's what's, that's what's happening tonight. If it's not broken Speech now, it will into be. One by a simple drag and drop. After all, it never feels complete without that personal touch. It doesn't feel complete. <laughs> she is correct. Do you notice he's just like getting a bit more comfortable now? Like, mm -hmm. let's go back. Let's look at that. She's like, she's getting a, putting a bit of sass the into this now. After all, it never feels complete without that personal touch. Oh, she, she does she that was finger very thing that, that Zach does. The finger oh. purse. They're all pointed up and put together. The finger purse. Yeah. This okay. thing. Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, like that. that's that's the finger purse. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Uh, oh, unfortunately, Mo's got to go. He's got comics to make. He's hoping to pump one out, get it on into, into the... Indiegogo, and have yeah. it fulfilled before this stream is over. Yeah. Uh, it's yep. the new Jeez, way. So sassy. I mean, forget it. Forget it. You know, people will be getting their comic books. You know, on the first day of the campaign. It's like you back it, and it was already there before you press the button. Yeah, I'm pretty out, so. sure that, that Pedro said that he's going to use this because he needs to get his comics published yesterday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Easily, too. Finishing. Easily. All right, here we go. Let's continue. To what add the... the art, I simply import my hand drawn. Oh, we're getting sketch. into the art now. Yes. All right, so she's imported her hand drawn page. So this mm. is like, this is. This is dinosaur stuff, you know. In case anyone out there has any of those old hand-drawn pages, you know, you mm -hmm. know what we're talking about. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, human. This error is opening up hu like, whole new doors for me. Um, so you know, obviously it's terrible because it's hand-drawn, but don't mm -hmm. you worry about it. But uh, it, Comic it, Blast has the solution for and, you, and it is professional level. Because remember, she said at the beginning, we're making professional comics here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is pro comics. So I mean, she made that perfectly, perfectly clear. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, notice the word just turned up. He says, "G'day, g'day." Always and, good to see. Um, Antoine Ooh. says, "Mo always wants to pump one out." <laughs> 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 uh, 
<laughs> is that why he always seems to disappear for a couple of minutes in the show uh, and then he comes back sort of re-energized um and he's saying uh this chick isn't my star but if she promises not to eat crackers in bed i'll consider it well oh, will she goodness. make comics in bed is is the thing uh yeah, yeah. Um, I liked Clint's vid on this too, Vilned. Um, we're going, we're going in depth though. We're, we're, we're really going into this, and um, I think Clint was way too dismissive of this. Um, he just, he's kind of, he had his eyes closed to the, to the potential and possibilities that uh, power software this powerful uh, offers uh, people like us. I mean, anyone really. This is this anyone. This is the promise of Comic Blast. Anyone can make anyone. a pro comic. Fast and easy, and easy. You can cut out the time and the effort. And professionals, uh, you know, they get to take a break now. They don't have to work so hard. Yeah, exactly. And they were they were worried, but uh, worry no more. Okay, we're gonna see what she's gonna do with this awful hand drawn, <laughs> hand drawn art. One Which button gets auto traced what? instantaneously. Oh, <laughs> did you hear the? She was oh. excited to say that instantaneously wow auto traced yes mind I mean, and hat blown guys when i hear the word pro comic you know what other word i i it's kind of like it's uh you know it's cat dog it's a yin yang it's pro comic and auto trace it's and, and it goes trace. together yes awesome. he's in a pod it's we, all we, one statement now Yep. Peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. Uh, is, yeah this... Steve Wurst is right. Clint just doesn't see the big picture. <laughs> Even at the art, using my favorite app, Fresco. Cross promotion. Good. I Comic like it. Comic blast. Not what? Only... Oh my goodness. Coloring colorists. I mean, we Goodbye. all know. Goodbye, Kyle Ritter. He we is out know. of a job. How hard it is to find a good colorist to work with your amazing, uh, um, like uh, line traced, uh, auto traced artwork. Well, it's, I, it's I not hope Ethan isn't seeing this. Yeah, yeah, and Mel, Mel's. Mm -hmm. I think Mel said it right here. Boom! There it is. You know, that's, there it is. Uh, what Hail else Mrs. Bean. <laughs> Mo, I'm not going to highlight your post. No, that's me. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. I'll highlight uh, Rick Sailors instead. Uh, so this is how Michael did the loose. <laughs> Things are starting to make sense. Yeah, well, no, I wish. Uh, get ready. Uh, book two. Mm -hmm. yeah, book two could be out by uh, the evening uh, if this with this thing in my hands. I don't know if it's out yet, but if I can get this thing downloaded, we could have book two. You know, I might be dusted. out of it. I might be out of a job. I may be hanging out with I'll Kyle down at the unemployment line. How did the uh, program know to put the ha 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 behind the uh, obvious hero there? Or no, that would be the villain probably. He's in purple, right? Algorithm. Yeah, yeah. And, but it was over top of uh, the blue uh, growly guy. Mm -hmm. How did the, How does it know to do that? Right. They they have obviously consulted the top professionals mm -hmm. working in the field and gotten their input on this program to be able to just intelligently understand all this stuff i wonder if we if this is maybe a little bit of shenanigans and they actually have a very high level comic professional and they're just going through slides like it almost seems too good too good uh for uh just a program to be able to do we this. live in a new world now it's 2020 uh, they're starting <laughs> to get robots that can walk around uh you know we're talking growing hearts in a vat uh this all seems like it's it's fully uh it's fully in line with uh the current technology well you're not wrong that's for sure yeah look hockey's got it right before comic blast ginger root hand exactly after comic blast pro Parrots. pro level layout design uh and colors there isn't a ginger a single ginger root hand on that page the only way i would be able to get a ginger root hand is if i you know imported an actual ginger root for it to trace mm -hmm. over yeah mm -hmm. what's um what's antoine said here uh, da, da, da. 
When you say eat crackers in bed, you mean food, right? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Antoine. Antoine has, a, Antoine has a dirty mind tonight. What's going on, mm-hmm. Antoine? Yeah, Antoine's been a naughty boy tonight. Whenever he just needs too good to be true, it's definitely he, not, says Darren. He just needs a few sessions with Comic Blast, and it'll I'm sure it'll straighten him right up. Mm-hmm. Guys, um, I mean, if you're not concerned right now, if you're out there, if you're if you're like me and you're out there designing comic books and you're not concerned, um, you know, if you're not jumping on this or getting onto the beta or whatever, I mean, we're in real trouble here. We could be dinosaurs within a matter of weeks. Ah, we only got a couple days comics, left in the week. It also reimagines yeah. how you consume them. Oh, oh, hang on. We missed uh, Harry Potter, old Harry Potter. Hang on. Oh, look at that guy. Comic Blast not only changes the way you design comics, it also reimagines. There he is. Look. Tell me that isn't Harry Potter. He's Fantastic. grown up. He's he's gotten a tan. And been working out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, it is a superhero comic. Uh, he's you know, going to be a little bit weights. stylized. Yeah. That's why he's the villain. Look at his colors green and purple. Or I guess yeah, old rules are out. So How does it I don't know, know that he was the villain? It yeah. just knew. It gave it him those knew. colors. This is this is unbelievable. How you consume them. <laughs> Ooh, let's zoom them. <laughs> We're getting into I the technical. I just saw this comment. Terms. I just saw Run with Caesar say consume them, and I'm like, them. what? I was about to highlight it, and like, I don't know what that means. And then I pressed the button. And I, I said I wasn't going to laugh at the accent, but uh, <laughs> that one got me. That one, you bad boy, uh, Run with Caesars. Uh, you got me on that one. Uh, <laughs> I think someone before was saying the long haired guy was Bandito. Oh, oh yeah, I can see that. I can see yeah. that. Paint your blue. Yeah. And uh, that's you in there. That's oh, my, my uh, fan con uh, cosplay. Right Hashtag comes <laughs> That is awful. It is Blue Bandito yeah. Zero in that panel. It is winter oh. up there in Canada, isn't it? It is. We have snow all over the place now. Jason Black is starting to wonder, you know, what's this story about? He wants to. He wants to get in on this. He's like, you want to be red, egg. you red want... egged or green egged? <laughs> <laughs> Adobe <laughs> is is uh, <laughs> dropping truths. What happens if you eat the red egg or the green <sighs> egg? The red egg, you you obviously you buy Comic Blast and you move forward into the truth. The green egg, you go back and you just make comics slowly uh, <laughs> like everyone else used to and you just you just go back into uh, obscurity eventually drawing and writing your way into the Lettering phantom and... zone yeah. i can't take it anymore i think rick, <laughs> jason's rick... like jason's been reading the story the whole time <laughs> rick has has a, a note there you just need this program in a lesbian story no no it makes your story into lesbians for mm. you <laughs> <laughs> No more yes. retconning. Retconning is the old way of doing things. Adobe. There's, there must be a magic diversify button. You write your story, <laughs> you hit diversify, and then bang, you've got lesbians, you've got trans, you've got everyone turns a darker shade. Banditos um, are blue. Yeah. You just drop stick figures on the screen and they just poof, lesbians. Bang. They'll, they will automatically supply the lesbians and the bicycles. Ooh. Oh, my. God, like you, you know, you've got you got your you got your uh, your set, the setting, a, a spaceport with aliens and smugglers and everything, and everything's really exciting. And you hit it, and then all of a sudden, you're in a diner, and everyone's talking about what coffee they're going to order. Ooh, I mean, the woke this, the wokeify button. This is, uh, oh my goodness! I mean, these guys are going to make so much money off this. It's it's not even going to be funny. The killer it's- app. Scan based image synthesis it's slaying enables something. me to assign morphing capabilities to the face of any character. What? So, next time when reading a comic, I can add my own selfie to it. Oh, yay! Wait. <laughs> I mean, we all know if there is one thing that all comic readers out there have been calling for, I mean, since, since the 30s, since Superman. Mm-hmm. And Batman, it's mm-hmm. they want the creators to self-insert. 
Yeah, uh, put their own face in there. If you're not in there, I don't want to read it. You know, I mean, that's why that's why we read Tom King. That's yeah. why we read Donny Cates. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, I'm. I think personally, I think Cyberfrog. Imagine if Cyberfrog was, you know, a larger frog, a mm-hmm. bit more round in the belly, and um, you know, dressed up in some funny hats and wisps on some of hair. Clothes. Yeah, wisps of hair sticking up in the back. Maybe it would sell a few copies. Mm. Yeah, a white yeah. blonde beard. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, Oh my goodness. This, I mean, this is going to be about pretty creepy. Being on the pulse, finger on the yeah. pulse. This is going to be a little bit creepy, though, if it actually does put her face on there. Oh, just wait. Here we go. Let's have a look. Ta-da. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, did you, you, you think they can't put Adam Sandler onto a live action shot of. Uh, um, uh, John Wick. They can't put some photo onto onto some. <laughs> onto, but we're talking traced. comic books. This is supposed to be sacred. <laughs> no, no. Simon on seven. It even got her glasses. Yeah, and Simon like a is asking an ex- excellent question. I think. Does it come with duck face integrated? <laughs> mm. You would hope or, so. There's another button. Maybe, maybe if not in the initial launch, maybe with a patch. Yeah, yeah, like mm. a, you'd have to be, it would be an add on. But you know, that's the thing the, the good thing about Adobe is they have a really do have a massive developer um, uh, community there who you, they do all kinds of patches for Photoshop and everything. So it could, uh, it, it could really happen. Uh, that was priceless, your reaction, uh, Bandit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, running with Caesars, I'm, I'm so glad that uh, we are here to. Here to um, educate, educate, yeah. educate. Pedro is wondering if this is a lampoon product. No, I mean, it's here. It's Adobe. So what uh, I'm surprised leaders in the field, though. leaders in the field. Uh, I've been in if... design for going on twenty years now, and um, I mean they've demolished every newcomer or existing other company that was, you know, having products out there. If yeah, if lampoon. Is Panamanian slang for best program ever? Then I would have to say, Pedro, yeah, I, I think it is. I'm so confused. So, like, she did a little scan of her face. She had one face selected, but it changed all the faces in the book for that character. For that character. For that character. I don't I mean, get it. Hey, How did that talk. happen? And it doesn't have the hair, right? Like, they, what? They are I'm skipping so, so many steps here. <laughs> They said, they said, no, she promised pro-level comics, Mm -hmm. easy and fast. This is the better way to do it. Mm -hmm. And Steve Worcester says, the future is now. Amen. Oh, Pedro. You would, can you imagine how much, Pedro, get onto that right now. Are you a developer? Find a developer. Yeah. Get the non-binary add-on. Stat. Um. Uh, yes, yes, that's what I was referring to, Antoine. Quark Express and PageMaker. Adobe crushed these companies. <clears throat> Corel Draw. Um, mm-hmm. They bought yeah, out it's... Macromedia. Exactly, they bought out Macromedia. I used to work in Flash. Uh, all this stuff. Uh, all, a lot of the uh, video editing softwares. And now, now they're taking on Clip Studio Paint at their own Actually, game. wait, no, they didn't get all of Macromedia. Apple got part of it, and that became Final Cut Pro. Oh, I just realized we're going to see every single web comic coming out with this stuff. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, luckily, oh, luckily, oh, you know, luckily, you're forced to read them. So, <laughs> yeah. I can even add a branching narrative storyline format. This is a whole new so, area of Tumblr we have not choose, fallen into yet. The story will do you remember? Oh um, do you remember? Uh, I Big, bet I'm never when he was going talking to get about interactive comic, comic books ever in again. that movie, Tom Hanks. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, we hear now. Not only this, all these oh, yeah. years later, Ooh. Comic Blast Ooh. enables you to add cool motion graphic and animation. These to bits your are comic actually books. the bits that, um, for instance, in this are actually kind of cool, but. Uh, um, it's like they just get into a little bit of motion graphics and stuff like that. Uh, this is, I think, more of the... I mean, it's just little kind of GIF stuff. Um, mm-hmm. But I, I think as well, you already have to well, have... Well, it's not your, as high-tech uh, as running your mouse over uh, an image in order to give it a shiny 
uh, coat, but you know, like the lucid cover Jeff mm -hmm. that you uh, created. Yeah, but no, I mean, it's uh, uh, you know, they're it's, trying. It's weird. They're Why trying. hasn't Adobe gotten in touch with me? Yeah, to um, get a hold of that proprietary technology. I know. It's 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 very weird of them. Uh, what are you going to finish up with? That are beautiful, personalized hang on, hang on, hang on. in. Oh, wow, it's an awesome parallax effect. Comic I could hear you say parallax. A fun and day. easy way <laughs> to create pro comic books. Hey, that I are understood that word. I'm the one who has trouble with accents. <laughs> I love a bit of parallax. Parallax is really difficult. To, not difficult, <laughs> but it's time consuming to to do. Uh, yeah, me... So I'm I'm all for any program that's uh, nice, speeds that up. Interactive, animated, and a dimension hundred times faster. You do. Well, it is. Well, it is. There's a great <sighs> comment on, on this uh, video by if you're if you want to peek at it seriously for a moment. There's a great comment. Not the not the comment. I mean, if the if after the show people want to peek at it, Holly Brown has one. It starts off a couple things I noticed right off the bat, and then you have to like see more. And she's got some some great points made in there. One of which is you actually is have this... to do things Adobe's way. <laughs> is this on the YouTube video? Yeah, it is. So it's it's just down, you know. Down I'm sure I haven't checked it out. Let me look at the. Uh, um, hang on, how do I get out of that uh, full screen? Do you ever feel like out. Adobe is just troubling the, us? Um... <laughs> like since Adobe. the very beginning. Since let's the very... see the result yeah. here. Um, so they've had twelve thousand people viewed it. They've got a hundred and seventy-five likes and two hundred and thirty. Just people with closed <laughs> minds. <laughs> you know. They can't see the future like we can. So nearsighted. It's sad. Um, Antoine uh, just says multiplex penises to Jim Cox. What's, what's Jim Cox asking? What should mine be, Antoine? I feel like I'm missing so much good stuff in the <laughs> chat here. I'm going to have to go back and read this afterwards. But um, we're actually at the, t at the end of the show. My goodness, that went quickly. So for anyone who has been watching this and does not uh, believe in the Adobe way, I'm going to mm -hmm. drop a link to another video um, <laughs> that is uh, titled Breaking Up with Adobe that everybody can go and watch uh, after we close out here. There we go. There she goes. Um, uh, William says, Hey guys, haven't been able to be here much. I've been drawing with Frega every night. Oh, Frega has been having some insane streams. Uh, nice. I'm going to try and get on one of them next week. Cause I'm taking the whole week off next week cool. and I am able to get in there. So I'm going to try and jump on and see what I can't draw. I'm going to try out Frega's just kind of draw from nothing method and see how it goes. It's probably going to be a disaster, but he says, I'm glad you guys jumped, uh, on the comic blast. Blast chain, choo choo. You've been trained there. <laughs> but, um, thank you, thank you. Uh, da -da. All right, I think we are going to um, close it out. Uh, so, Joe, Blue, Bandito, thank you so much for joining me. Mm -hmm. And to the real TM registered, trademarked, sexiest chat in cg thank you so much for hanging out with us today you guys are a blast as always uh we will see you tomorrow we're gonna have another great show i'm sure it's gonna be lots of fun and yeah we will uh we'll see you then all right bye yeah. everything changed when war reached the americas caught between the french and the british my family paid the price only my darling Sarah survived. They took her away. We couldn't save them, but we will save her. Five men against thousands, how can it be done? We are not merely men. War has brought out the beast in us all. And we will have our vengeance, for we are... The War Party.
Only you can stand between an evil rogue AI and the rest of humanity. Hero Potential is a four-player co-op superhero survival shooter. Cecil. The Jawbreakers. And Cyberfrog. All these heroes are available in the first two official downloadable content releases, and both are available at launch. Back this project today to bring the fight for humanity to life. Hero Potential is only available on Indiegogo. That was great. The gang's all here. Oh, Bandito just dropped out. Oh. oh. That was great. And we're live. I saw you right at the end there, Paul, and I thought, well, I'll wait until after the show. To bring it it says like, it's still live on the thing. Like, do you want to end the stream, maybe? Oh. <laughs> Hi, everyone. 